God of our gladness and joy, let us enter the court of the house of the Lord and say to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous sword. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest Saint Pius a share in the cross of your son, and by means of his ministry renew the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Haggai. On the first day of the sixth month, in the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shaltiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak. Thus says the Lord of hosts, These people says, the time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then this word of the Lord came through Haggai, the prophet. Is it time for you to dwell in your own paneled houses while this house lies in ruins? Now, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have so much but have brought in little. You have eaten, but have not been satisfied. You have drunk, but have not been accelerated. Have clothed yourselves, but not been warmed. And whoever earned wages, earned them for a bag with holes in it. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up into the hill country, bring timber, and build the house, that I may take pleasure in it, and receive my glory, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. 
Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes a delight in His people. Please stand. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about that was all, all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed, because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Others were saying, Elijah has appeared. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. But Herod said, John I beheaded. Who then is this about whom I hear such things? And he kept trying to see him. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Merong isang babae na every time nakita siya ng isang bata, napapaiyak na lang siya at nakukonsens siya. Bakit? Kasi itong babaeng pala ito, Naalala niya na nung kabataan niya, nagpa-abort siya. Para bang iniisip niya na kung hindi ko pina-abort, siguro yung anak ko ganito kalaki. Siguro kung hindi ko pina-abort, baka masaya na kami. And because of that experience, palagi siyang nababagabag na kukonsensya. Ang experience ni Herod, ni Herodes, ganun din. Binabagabag siya ng kanyang konsensya. Nababagabag siya ng kanyang konsensya. Nung narinig niya ang pangalang Jesus, sino ito? Sa pagkasabi nga niya, pinugutan ko na ng ulo si San Juan Bautista. Sino na naman ito? Kaya tuloy natakot siya, o perhaps nabagabag, at gusto niya makita kung sino ito. Minsan eh, parang tayo din, katulad ni Herodes, na kapag ka minsan nakagawa tayo ng kasalanan, nababagabag ka, nakukonsensya ka. Kaya nga palaging sinasabi sa atin eh, be friend with your past, resolve your past, so that it will not haunt you for the rest of your life. Ang problema, si Herodes, ito ang gusto niya makita si Kristo kung sino ba talaga ito. Baka si, sinabi kasi sa mga chismis that time, mga naririnig niya, maari si San Juan Bautista na muling nabuhay. Kaya sabi niya, pinatay ko na yun ah. Sino naman ito? O posibleng ang siya nga ito? He wanted to see Jesus because of his guilt and shame. Or perhaps, gusto niya lang makita sa pagkat to confirm na iba ito. Iba siya. Hindi ito sa San Juan Bautista. Binabagabag siya ng kanyang konsensya. Kaya sa atin nga siguro kapag binabagabag pa tayo ng ating mga konsensya, every time tayo po nakakagawa ng kasalanan, good for us. Ibig sabihin, that little voice inside of us is still working. Ang problema kay Herodes, gusto niyang makita si Jesus not to be converted but just to confirm na ito ay hindi si Jesus. Kasi kung minsan, kapag ka, ikaw po kasi sabi na natin eh, nakaharap doon kay Jesus, God will be asking you for the word conversion. 
to transform our lives. Kaya mo bang baguhin kapag ka nakaharap mo ko? Kaya mo bang sundin? Halimbawa, kapag ka meron kang, hindi man sabi natin, hindi man perfecto ang pamilya, meron naman talaga ako minsan eh, kunting, alam mo na, mga kunting grabbing of elbows, hindi mo makasundo si kanito, si ganyan, sa opisina, sa trabaho. At every time nagsisimba ka, palaging sinasabi sa misa, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Kaya ba pa kung mapansin niyo ang buong misa, bago mo tanggapin si Jesus, sinasabihan ka na ayusin mo muna ang relationship mo sa iba. Bago mo tanggapin ang Diyos, bago mo matagpuan ang Diyos at maging bahagi ng buhay mo, tatanggapin physically, God is asking us for the word conversion. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Minsan nga kasi, para kang sirang electric fan, ano na sirang electric fan, di ba? Isang side lang ang ano, Kapag kang dito kagalit mo, asawa mo, kapatid mo, anak mo, nanay, tatay mo. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Ayaw mong lumingin doon sa, alam ko, nasa kaliwa, ayaw mong lumingin dyan. Peace, peace, peace. Dito ka lang magpipeace. Peace, peace. Kahit kung tingan, no? You will be asked to be like Christ. At ano po yun? To forgive. Na kapag tinanggap mo ang Diyos, Sarap nung feeling. Di ba sarap nung feeling kapag ka, Lord, tatanggapin kita. Ito nga yung challenge sa atin lahat. That we accept the Lord in our life. He is also calling us for conversion. Kung ano man yung ating pagkakamali, mga konsensya ka. Kaya sa yung buong misa, hihingi ka ng tawa. At bago mo sa tatanggapin, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Si Herodes, ang problema niya, gusto niya na makita ang Diyos, pero ayaw niya magbago. Yun kasi ang challenge palagi sa atin eh. If we meet the Lord and accept the Lord in our life, it calls us for transformation It calls us to be like Him. It calls us to be converted. It calls us to forgive one another. Let us all stand. We are aware that there is much evil in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by His death and resurrection. We ask God that Goodness may be victorious. For every petition, we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and in deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations may give up the senseless race to have more powerful weapons of war and that they instead learn to live together in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are persecuted because of their beliefs may succeed in winning their freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for our personal intentions. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. In your house 
Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of His name, name for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Pius, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to the life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away, away the sins, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Pius, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor of the glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.